Hey, good evening all. It's Andy with 45 North Farm. And uh, today we, we ran into a little issue. And I'll, I'll explain here in a minute. But you can see where uh, we got the bee yard behind me here. And uh, up at the farm. And uh, long story short, uh, doing some splits with a friend of mine this morning. And um, so I got four nukes in the back of my truck. But everything was going well until I went home. And... Um, open the uh the tailgate so they could get some air and then all of a sudden it was just full of bees everywhere and i was like oh my gosh what's going on the slam tailgate and uh hurried up grabbed everything i needed to come up north and uh, by the time i got back out on the last trip there was just bees covering the whole thing and it was just out of control and uh so it's like well let's hurry up let's <laughs> get out of here and uh, so I was able to make it up here, stop for gas. That was interesting. All those poor people at the gas station were like, what the heck's going on? Swatting at bees and, you know, everything was going nuts. So um, we're going to get these things in, try to figure out what's going on, why they're doing what they're doing. Um, we had nukes, you know, nice boxes and everything. So I don't know. We'll get it figured out and uh, we'll, uh, we'll come back to you here in a minute. So what's really fun about this is uh, I'm not too technologically inclined and uh, can't figure out how to get this video going. And so I've got one glove off. Hopefully they're going to be in a good mood. I'll say, Louie, get out of here. Get. Yeah, you know better. I'll come back here and get walloped. But uh, yeah, so here's the bees. And you can see they uh, they're coming through there. So let's uh I don't know if I can get any smoke in these guys or not. <laughs> this might be kind of feeble. But here we go. Oh yeah, that's a mess. Okay. Alright, so this is the back of my truck. <laughs> uh and you know what? These guys are pretty chill. I'm guessing that those look like they're all down that maybe we popped a hole somewhere in this cardboard box I don't know but uh, fortunately everyone's chill not too bad until I move them and I'm sure they're going to go ape but um, oh yeah now I get a little bit irritated <laughs> so, we're going to get these nukes out get them in some hives I got a couple open hives out here and uh, one back there in the corner and this one here look at that I forgot a frame up there but uh, so we'll go here in a minute let's uh, get these guys here into the hives and um, so this is why we we're having problems all right I'll be back with you here in a minute all right so, pre-existing hive here. That guy's doing good. Here's one of the one we took from the cardboard box. And uh, they're kind of figuring life out, so that's good. And uh, I'll get them something in the morning to eat. Here's uh, my main hive. And these guys are as nasty as ever. So, they're doing good. And we got one of the nukes here. And I might combine these in the morning. I don't know. I gotta think about it yet. There's another one. And we got these guys. I don't know if I can zoom out. But we got these guys in a, in a hive too, so they seem to be calming down a little bit. And uh, so the big thing is, let me grab my smoker. We gotta come back over this truck and figure out what's going on. Cause those bees aren't going anywhere. And I don't really feel like getting tore up tonight. And you can 
see my dog Lewis over there. He got it figured out. He doesn't come messing these at all. So a little bit better. Still got a lot of bees hanging out. I think if I can smoke them, that's not working out. There we go. Let's see if we can get them out of there. I don't know where they're hanging out. Pardon the angle here. <laughs> We're just gonna start smoking everything. And they use uh, pine needles for my smoker. My dad's house has a couple uh mom and dad's has a couple uh get this thing all smoked out big old pine trees the neighbors and he usually collects them all and burns them and stuff in the fall but i found that they make wonderful smoker fuel it doesn't cost me a dime so appreciate his hard work and getting it for me Think they know where they're going.